My birthday was yesterday and everybody forgot. I got really dressed up and excited and no one said a word. There wasn't even a party. I think sometimes people are really mean to the hot popular girl. I swallowed a tapeworm last night. It's going to grow up to three feet inside of me and then it eats all my food so that I don't get fat. And then after three months I take some medicine and then I pass it. Creed told it to me. It's from Mexico. That wasn't a tapeworm. I guess I'm not the kind of guy that's good enough for precious heirlooms. You know what, Dwight? You need to go back there and you need to pretty woman their asses. We should start our own mall. Yeah! Wait, wait, wait. Actually, that's a really good idea, Kelly. What did I say? I talk a lot, so I've learned to just tune myself out. Our love scares them. It screws up their cookie cutter world. Ravi makes me incredibly happy. And Ryan puts me through so much drama. So I guess I just have to decide which of those is more important to me. Don't worry, Kelly will be training you first. Kelly's training us? This day is bananas, B-A-N-A-N-A-S. This day is bananas, B-A-N-A. I don't have a headache. I'm just preparing. You're shaking. Are you all right? Just leave me alone! I am on the third day of my cleanse diet. All I have to do is drink maple syrup, lemon juice, cayenne pepper, and water for all three meals. Um, I just bought some bikinis online, size two, so... I look amazing. Don't you dare walk away from me, Daryl Philbin. You are the most selfish person I've ever met in my Slow entire... Slow Take it over. Daryl Philbin is the most complicated man that I have ever met. I mean, who says exactly what they're thinking? What kind of game is that? Oh, Pam, soda, caffeine. Yeah, just a little. I have a lot to deal with today. Well, if you don't have to do them. Meredith, what are you doing? I could be pregnant. Okay, no. Oh, my resolution was to get more attention. Could you scoot over? You're on my dress. But you're not supposed to wear white to a wedding. I know, but there was an emergency. I look really good in white. He has achieved a great deal but in the last no week. No achievement is greater than his on-again, off-again girlfriend. What are you... Who am I? I'm Kelly Kapoor, the business bitch. It is important to brand yourself, so I have a couple things in the works. The business bitch, the diet bitch, the shopping bitch, the etiquette bitch. Oh, my God. Ryan, oh my God. I cannot wait to visit Ryan in prison. I'm gonna wear my hottest tracksuit and get my hair done and then be like, hi Ryan. And then all the other prisoners are gonna be like, damn, Ryan, you got a hot ex-girlfriend. Ooh, I would never have treated her so bad when I was outside of prison. What has two skinny chicken legs and sucks at ping pong? Hi, Kelly. Guess whose boyfriend it is. I don't wanna guess. I'll give you a hint. It's not my boyfriend. I think it's a guy over here. I don't talk trash, I talk smack. They're totally different. Trash talk is all hypothetical, like, your mom is so fat she could eat the internet. But smack talk is happening like right now. Like, you're ugly and I know it for a fact, so I get the evidence right there. I want you to tell me that you care about me. That is what I want. Kelly, I'm your boss now, okay? You can't keep talking to me like I'm your boyfriend. Oh, big, strong man, fancy, new, whatever. I don't think you ever cared about me. I never cared about you? Six months ago, Karen Filippelli sent me an email, asked me out. I said no because I was committed to our relationship. Well, I hope you're still committed because I'm pregnant. And guess what, buddy? I am keeping it. Okay, okay. Do you feel prepared to help me raise a baby? I, I can't talk about this right now, okay? After work, we'll go out to dinner. We'll talk about it then, okay? We have a date! Thank <laughs> you.